shooting on the city's west side leaves one person dead and three people wounded. Two teens are among the victims. WGN's Brona Tumulty is live at Strojo Hospital where two of the victims were taken. Brona. That's right, a tough night on the west side of the city. As you mentioned, two of the victims were brought here to Stroger, and the other two were taken to Mount Sinai. Now, it seems the four people were inside of a car over on the, the 100 block of South Keeler Avenue shortly before 7 p.m. Police say shots were fired at that vehicle, and all four people inside were hit. A 17-year-old girl and 19-year-old man were both struck in the back and taken here to Stroger in serious condition. A 21-year-old man and 34-year-old man were transported to Mount Sinai, both suffered multiple gunshot wounds and the 21 year old has since passed away. Now we reported at nine that the suspect's vehicle was found over at the Pulaski Blue Line, but it seems that vehicle actually belonged to the victims and after being shot, they traveled several blocks from Keeler Avenue over to Pulaski. When they got there, they seemingly hit a Chicago Fire Department vehicle. We spoke at the scene with someone who says he saw it happen and we also talked with crisis responder Andrew Holmes, who is pleading for the people responsible to come forward. I was right there when it happened. Somebody just pulled up shooting, and uh, them guys tried to pull off and had an accident. And, you know, innocent people was getting killed for no reason. You know, think about it. This could have been your family members. So work with the police department, work with the detectives, work with the community and the other crisis responders that are out here too. Give them the information. Now, we had previously reported that it was the suspect's vehicle that hit the CFD one. That is not the case. It was the victims. And we believe that CFD vehicle was actually the ambulance that you saw there in the video. One witness told us it almost seemed as though the victim's vehicle intentionally hit the ambulance, presumably or possibly to get some medical attention if that was the case. It doesn't appear anyone in that CFD vehicle was hurt. In total, though, four people shot. One person has died, just 21 years old. Nobody is in custody. So if you have any information that can help police in this, give them a call. We're live outside Stroger Hospital at Bronatomalty, WGN News.